Okay, so here we have the 60D from Canon with Magic Lantern software installed. And we're in intervalometer mode, which is pretty much a time lapse. It lets you time taking a picture. Right now, it's taking one picture every two seconds, and the shutter speed is at one second. So for time lapses you want, for the duration of the pictures, let's say you're taking one picture every five seconds, you want half that to be the shutter speed time. So if you have five seconds time lapse, you want to set your shutter speed at two and a half seconds. So the shutter will stay open for two and a half seconds, then close for two and a half seconds, then open again for two and a half seconds, then close for two and a half seconds. So right here, I'm taking one every two seconds. So you can see right there that my shutter speed is set to one, one second. And I got my aperture set all the way closed to 22. So I'm pretty much, that's the max that it can go. I don't have a ND filter. Um, I know Polaroid makes an ND filter that's variable for 30 bucks and the step up to that is the Lightcraft Workshop ND Fader. That's a much better um, ND filter. And what that does is if you know how to use aperture, um, you, you have to use a high numbered aperture which makes the hole smaller because it lets in too much light. So the time lapse I'm going to show you, it's going to look really bright in the beginning probably. That's what I'm guessing because even with it set all the way to 22, it still is too bright. It was way overexposed. So that's what the ND filter is for. It darkens the image, allows you to set this at whatever you want. So you're going to be playing with that and you're going to be playing with the filter at the front over here. You're going to be twisting it to make it darker or lighter. So that's where ND filters come in handy a lot. Plus two in video, you usually leave your shutter speed set at a certain rate, uh, depending on what frames you shoot at, whether it's 24p or 60p, you do half. So your shutter speed would be, or no, you do double, sorry. So if you're shooting at 24p, you do 1 50th of a second shutter speed. So if your shutter speed is constant, your aperture, let's say you want a super low f-stop aperture, like 1.4, 1.2, if you shoot in the sun, it's going to be really, really bright, way overexposed. That's why you need the ND filter. So I recommend anyone doing DSLR photography or video, you should get an ND filter because you definitely will need one because you'll see in the time lapse that it's way overexposed and there's no way to fix that. So you have to get an ND filter. Um, the only other way would be to make the shutter speed faster, but then your picture will be more glitchy. It'll look like a bunch of pictures rather than smooth. That's why we set it to one second because you want a long shutter speed so the images are smooth together. And we're gonna play this back at 24p. Okay, so that's it. Okay, so here we have you can see that it's way overexposed because I don't have the ND filter. So you're gonna wanna get one of those to avoid this. And as you will notice later, as it gets darker, it will get more exposed in the proper range. So this is during sunset. It's about, it took about an hour and a half, maybe two hours, I don't know for sure. But you can see the clouds starting to appear right now. It's a little shaky because I didn't use a stable tripod. So that's another thing to consider is use a tripod and add some weight to it somehow, hang some weights under it so it doesn't shake around like this. And the clouds look pretty smooth to me, but the camera shake is, it's uh, really making it look crappy. So you want to add some weights to that. This next clip is one that I did at night. Uh, it has a little bit of flicker, but it's better than the first one. The exposure is a lot better.